All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to sniff traffic from only one specific access point. But before we do that, I want to show you guys a better tool for changing your MAC address, and it is called appropriately MAC Changer. So it's just, I don't know, a little quicker and more convenient method. And actually, I went to, you know, I ate some dinner and I came back. So I'm logged out, logged back in. So all my cards are out of monitor mode. Um, you know, I'm pretty much back to basic, so we need to pretty much start from scratch again. So if you go to IWconfig, then we can see that this card right here, it's in managed mode. And let me just clear out of there. So before you change your MAC address using MAC changer, it's always a good idea to bring it down. So IFconfig and WLAN1, just bring that down. So now my card is down and now in one single line, type Mac changer and it has two C's in it. So don't forget about that and write minus R and then you write what card do you want to change the Mac on? So WLAN one. Now this minus R flag right here is just going to say, give me any random uh, Mac address. So I'm going to hit enter and it says, okay, this was your current Mac before you ran this tool. This is your permanent Mac address. And now your new one is this right there. So that just helps uh, staying anonymous a little bit better. And also a cool thing about this is the first part of the MAC address is actually the manufacturer's ID. So now let's say that a systems administrator saw the traffic on the network and was like, hmm, something's weird from this MAC address. Let me look up the manufacturer ID and see if I can, you know, find their uh, device, whether it's a Android or a tablet or whatever where they're going to look it up and they're going to say <laughs> they're going to see that the manufacturer is unknown so they can't even you know start looking for us now after we change that we need to bring our interface back up and if we run ifconfig we can verify that yep that is our new mac address now again this isn't our permanent MAC address. We can never really change our MAC address permanently since it's burnt into the card, but to every other network device, all the other computers and the router, it's gonna look like this is our MAC address. So they're not gonna know any difference. So remember, that's just in regular manage mode now. So I just need to check kill kill any processes and just bring that I cannot type today WLAN 1 actually I have um, this microphone it's between me and the laptop so I have to like reach around it to like type in I don't know if I feel weird like I'm trying to hug like a grizzly bear or something whenever I type in that's kind of a weird uh, you know metaphor or whatever but whatevs all right, so now our card is back in monitor mode. And what I wanted to show you guys is this. So you know like before, if I just do like a arrow dump ng wlan1 mon, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start looking at all of the networks around me. So it's just gonna wait and listen. It's not gonna send out any requests. It's just gonna listen for these networks. Now, if I have a lot around me, then it's gonna start gathering all that traffic, all of those packets. Now, the problem with this is you usually just wanna attack one access point. Like if uh, some company hires you to go in and see if their network is secure, you don't wanna start <laughs> attacking every company within that office building. So that usually isn't a good idea. So what you can do is this. Copy the BSS ID, which is the MAC address of that access point, and if you just want to target one, then run that command again, but we're going to add an optional parameter. That's minus minus BSS ID, and then paste the MAC address right in there. Now, what this is going to say is, okay, we're going to listen for traffic just like we did before, but we only are going to listen to it from this access point. So everyone else's uh, you know, networks, all the ones that you don't care about, they aren't going to be spied on basically so now i'm just gonna wait for this and even though it's kind of hard to demonstrate because i only have like two wireless networks around me small town i know but uh hold on where's my trusty old tablet 
All right, so let me go to, all right, boom, there we go. All right, so you know that my neighbor's network that was popping up last time, we're not going to see it this time. Only the devices and this network that we specified are going to be listed. So there you go. Make sure to change your MAC address. Make sure to target only the specific networks that you want, and then you're ready to move on to the next tutorial.